Cutting plastic on your CNC's. A lot of people underestimate cutting plastics and the different versions of plastics that are available, whether it's a Delrin application or UHMW or many of the other options that are out there, and they think that you can simply get away with an uncoated tool. It is possible, yes, however, introducing an uncoated tool into this can create other extra handling steps, slower programming times, burrs, fraying, and all the other stuff that kind of makes you scratch your head because the chips are so soft in many applications. I want to share with you a little bit of what's possible with the material specific end mills from Harvey Tool. I've got a video all queued up and ready to go behind me. Let's check it out. Now you can see this is a mini desktop mill from Bantam Tools. This still is going to apply whether you're running this on a small CNC or you're running it on a full size CNC machine. The material specific end mills are still gonna be there. So you can see they're cutting Delrin in this video. They're just kind of fast forwarding through the application. You can see all the chips. They've already skimmed the top of this part and they're really just jumping through, chewing away, taking advantage of the specialized tooling to feed aggressively and clear all of those chips. And here's some of the finishing. Look how small that tool is. Really the stuff that Harvey has to offer in the size and everything else, it's hard to compete in this industry against Harvey tool. Look at that part finish. One, if you noticed while they were cutting, there was a lot of chip buildup and they weren't clearing it, no coolant. Cutting it completely dry. But look at the way that after their surfacing is done, that part's good to go to be shipped, put onto the next operation, whatever comes next for this part in their application. There's no polishing, sanding, scraping, deburring. And I know for me, when I was still on the shop floor, there was a lot of the secondary processes that would be created when I ran a lot of UHMW and Delrin parts because there was just all of this fraying and frayed edges. So the investment in material specific end mills, even just to finish, if you have some bulk on coated you want to do the main roughing with and then get the material specific to finish, that's always an option. And then you can focus on that one tool or two to get these superb finishes. All right, I hope you learned something new. Until next time, keep your spindles turning and earning.